So the kid and the little girl have very little time to stop the robbers from doing something. I don't even know why the robbers just don't leave town already. So, okay, so, um, so the kids sneak into the house with no plan whatsoever, and the dog jumps through people, and then they do this pointless puppet show to pretend they're a ghost, and then something happens, uh, and then the criminals are caught somehow. But the real story in Cop Dog is about Tommy learning to let his dad go. Mom, and I didn't mean to hurt you. I just, I couldn't lose you again, Dad. Dad? I mean Marlo. And to also let Marlo go. And to eventually let his mom go after she's murdered in the Applebee's parking lot. Then Timmy has his Oscar moment when he says goodbye to Marlo. I knew you had to go. I always knew. It's just... I'm gonna miss you, Marlo. And leaves him with a very special message to carry on. Tell him. Oh. oh. Marlo! Wait! Marlo just ran away. Then the dad's ghost appears and turns into a spirit thing or something. But all the mom can think about is. More than me now, Dad. Trust me, that boy gets into all sorts of trouble. Is he talking to a headstone? But doesn't he know they don't talk I'm back? So at the end, Johnny gets a new puppy, which the film implies that Marlo is the father of. Because Marlo, wait a minute, no one said anything about a puppy. I love puppies. Puppies are great. The fact that there's a puppy in this movie makes it suck a little bit less. I'm gonna have to recalculate my movie suckability index chart. Okay, I gotta put on my reading glasses first. Okay, gotta add in the puppy factor. Plus two times square root of pi, 56.92.986, multiplied by the factor of puppy, added to the cop dog equation, and then equals. Oh. 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 I don't even know who I am anymore. Fuck me. Oh.